You know what time it is. Uh, it, uh, uh. it is the time of the video uh, where me and Kyle will be picking someone to play a member of the X Men. Yeah, picking okay. someone at random. We put a load of her names in a hat and then we pull them out. It's like, oh, Danny DeVito for Gambit. But no, we're picking three people each to cast as Gambit. Uh, we've done this for Cyclops. We've done this for Magneto. We've done this for Storm. We've done it for Beast. <coughs> now it's time for Gambit. Sorry on the burp. That's the Fuck It Friday burp. Um, so yeah. We both got free. Uh, we do want to mention one beforehand, though, don't we, Kyle? We do. Um, this man uh, was attached to play Gambit for a very long time. You all know who we're going to say. Channing Tatum. Now, I do not think Channing Tatum will be playing Gambit in the X-Men movie. However, Kyle, I think we both agree. Mm. We will probably see Channing Tatum as Gambit in Deadpool and Wolverine. Very likely. I, I would say that's so close to 95% certainty we will see Channing yeah. Tatum as Gambit in Deadpool and Wolverine. So that's what we're going to say about that. He's a great choice, but because he's kind of already in that realm, I don't think they'd actually cast him. Now... Even though we, you know, on other castings, like we've even said, like Michael Fassbender could return as Magneto. Um, I even said Kelsey Grammer back for uh, Beast. So yeah, uh, but yeah, we got three. Let's go with the uh, Gambit himself, Remy LeBeau. Kyle, yep. who's your first pick? Uh, so my first, I'm I'm going so I'm going from sort of who wide. Well, I'd like to see it. So basically, my number one pick will be like my like. Oh, I, I, I this is yeah what I want. Yeah, yeah. So I'll start with number three. Uh, same with you. Um, it would be Garrett Headland. I think I said his name right. Garrett Headland. Yeah. The person who looks like Charlie Hunnam. Uh, yeah. In from Tron. Uh, he is in Tron. Yeah. Okay, I like that. Um, again, I I have to emphasize I am not the biggest X-Men guy. I don't know too much about the X-Men. That falls to Callum. But I'm just basing what my casting's off of performances that I've seen in other films and my little knowledge of said character, in this case, Gambit. Just full disclosure. Um, So, yeah, I'm going on this just because, you know, he was, you know, he was in a film not that long ago. Um, I've forgotten the movie now. It was a really, it was a strange action flick. It was the one with Ben Affleck. Triple Frontier. That's it, See yeah. See that off the really... top of my head like that? That's why you come to this channel for the quick knowledge. Ask me anything else. Go on. No. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, no, but I, I I, like the idea of this guy, you know, he's, he's a cool actor and from what I saw in Tron, you know, he was sort of very dedicated to, to the role because I know there was some uh, marketing stuff where he would wear a t-shirt uh, that says Flynn Lives yeah. and it was, you know, it's just extra little things that he did for the film uh, and it was even to promote the film afterwards, if that makes sense. So, you know, if this guy is, is up for it, I think I think uh, Garrett would, would do a great job. I like that pick a lot, actually. That's, that's one I kind of came across when I was, like, searching and I was thinking... Who'd be a good fit and having a look into it? Um, these, you know, I kind of <laughs> went down a similar route to you just a bit later. Um, but my number three pick, Ben Barnes. We all know Ben Barnes. Well, we might not all know Ben Barnes. Uh, ben Barnes, obviously, Westworld. He's been in Punisher, so that might be something to go against it a bit because we know that stuff's canon now. Um, but yeah, uh, this guy also played Prince Caspian in uh, Narnia 2 back in there. Never watched Narnia. Never watched Narnia. We never watched 300. 
mate, you never watched anything. Uh, but yeah, Ben Barnes, he is my number three pick. I think he might be getting just a little bit too old for the role now. Um, but he can pull off that charming scoundrel sort of thing. I like that. That's a good pick. I think the only thing holding it back is just obviously he's, he's been cast already as um, uh, Russo. Yeah, I thought he was going to go with the, like the character name and Jigsaw. I, think, I, I, really, I really don't like that name. Okay, well, I don't like your name, Kyle. Who's your number two? Uh, my number two, um, it's 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 a close one for the number, you know, but it's between this and number one. I think I'm going to go with, ooh, it's hard to choose. I'm going to say my number two and my number one are unison. So um, well, I'll, your, I'll say this one. Who's your number two? I'll say this anyways. Uh, Alex uh, Anderson, he was um, Ivar the Boneless in Ooh. Vikings. Um, I just think he can bring a lot of energy to to the role, which he did. Um, I've not seen him in anything else, sadly. I just I, I, He's not come across anything um, that I've seen. But, uh, you know, he's young. He's, again, Ivar the Boneless, especially with... You know, I'm not going to spoil the Vikings, but with what happens in the Vikings, I feel like he he carries the show a little bit, well, okay. quite a bit. Okay. So um, I think I think he'd be great. He's got you know he looks he looks cool. He's he's got definitely got the sort of energy for Gambit. So yeah, I, I think he'd he'd be a pretty decent Gambit. All right. Okay. So yeah, I I, I like that pick quite a lot. Um, and I, I, I got to meet him as well. He's a really cool guy. Yeah, he got um, he got me a video message from our birthday. Yeah, I, I got him to say happy birthday to you. Yeah, still never sent yeah. it to me. He showed me it, but he never sent it to me. I never will. Yeah, he's just hold it. Because it hostage. wasn't real. It was a deep fake. Nah, I did meet him though. He was a really, genuinely nice guy. Okay, well, we'll stop talking about Kyle's friends for a second. Uh, and go to my number two pick, which is Charlie Hudham. I love this man. I am a massive Sons of Anarchy fan. I just, yeah, Jack's Teller all day, every day. I think he's great in that role. Now, like I said, there's a reason, again, he's not my number one pick, and that's age, again. By the time we get round to this film, he probably be a bit too old but as of right like if they were shooting tomorrow go for it but it's uh it's not a possibility obviously now again someone again who i think can fit that you know light playful little bit of a scoundrel sort of vibe it's charlie hunnam the only other thing i'd say that charlie might struggle with is the accent doing that Cajun accent, I don't, I, I'd like to think he could do it, but I think he might struggle a bit with it. I think he could do it. But like I said, he's an actor in here at the end of the day, so he could pull it off. But anyway, yeah. Kyle, come on. Who's your number um, one? I, so number one, again, this is tie and tie with number two, this is tie and tie with Alex. Um, Austin Butler. Now, He's hot shit right now Me too. for a lot of oh, okay. Well, he's hot shit right now in like everything in the movie world. Shit, he um, was my number one for Cyclops as well. I don't care who he yeah. plays, just get him in there. Yeah, I think you know, get this man in the MCU, and you're gonna bring a lot of eyes to the cinema, especially with Gambit. I think no one would protest. You know, Austin playing Gambit. I think it's a it's a great choice. I'd I'd love to see it. Uh, again, he's just got that energy about him. You know, he can really sort of... He, he's very good with his roles and the way he takes the character. Yeah. Um, obviously, you know, he plays a, a, a bit of a minor role in, in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. But again, it's so, like... It's really weirdly believable, like, uh, you know, as a person. It's like, you yes. look at him as, like, a disturbed... 
sort of person. I'm the devil. <laughs> yeah. And then obviously I, I've seen uh, the Elvis film. Uh, great that, performance in that as yeah, well. Like the film, I, I think the film's okay. Yeah. The Elvis film, but the, but the performance, performance with, is yeah. fantastic. I mean, he sh- yeah, he, he, he just stole the show in that film as, as you know, um, as deserved. But he also, in most recently, did part two. Um, Switched it up again. Yeah. Fade Rafa, which you were great in that. You know, a lot of people say that Austin Butler gets stuck in accents. You know, apparently he kept the Elvis accent for ages after Elvis. I want this man so bad to get stuck in the gambit. Very thick, heavy Cajun accent. I think that would be fucking hilarious. Just yeah. in interviews. Now, sure. <laughs> Mon ami. Yeah, it, it'd be... Uh, it'd be... It'd be a pretty good uh, casting, to be honest. Yeah, just referring him to himself in third person. Austin don't like that. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, no, I completely agree with everything that you're saying. He is... An actor of this generation. He's an actor of this generation. Yeah. He is like a, like a movie of all time. He is an actor of this generation. <laughs> But no, he's, he is fantastic and he's proven that time and time again. I actually can't wait until we go see uh, Bike Riders. I think that's June 21st. That's out. He looks great in that. And a lot of great, uh, a great cast in that film. Yeah, it is. Quite a stacked cast. Mm. Now, you know, I picked Austin for Cyclops as my number one. I'm picking Austin for Gambit as my number one. I'm not saying that he's going to play them both, but I'm just saying it's like, look, he is so good that he could fit into both roles. Angel as well. I don't think we're actually going to do an Angel video, uh, but he could even he could do Angel as well. That would be great. But I, I don't think we'll get much pushback on this number one pick. I mean, we might. Uh <laughs> But it's always fun to see, fun to read. Uh, so, guys, let us know down below who do you think should play Gambit in the upcoming X-Men movie? You know, do you even think Gambit's going to be in the original team lineup that to start with? Do you think he won't be? I think he will. I mean, it's 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 all fresh blood for the, for the X-Men franchise. You know, he's not really been featured in the other X-Men films. So, you know, it'd be a great way to... Freshen up the team, essentially. Yeah. I get, yeah, from a live action perspective, it would be good to get him in there, actually. So, yeah. I think that'll do us for today, guys. Uh, before we go, I just want to say next Tuesday is a one year anniversary for our first ever video on the channel. We are currently 17 subscribers away from 200. We want to get as close to 200 as possible before Tuesday. We've got videos planned this weekend. We know Monday we're going to be going hard. Like I did on Kyle's Monday of a weekend. Uh, and Sorry, I'm not sorry. I meant every word of that. Uh, you know, this, this is so we can get infinite keyboards for Kyle. And more importantly, infinite keyboards for myself. So Kyle can type away. And I can snap away. Anything you want to add, Kyle, before we get out of here? You don't want to tell the people to subscribe to the channel. Shit, if you want. No, not if they want. They have to. Every like this video gets is the amount of pumps I will do inside of Kyle's mother. You won't subscribe, didn't she? You know, when I get us up to that 200 mark. She doesn't have a YouTube account. Alright, set her one up. Then she can watch all the stuff I say about her. Yeah, no. Why not? Just, no. Is your dad subscribed? No. What about your brother? I think so, yeah. Hi, Lane! <laughs> right. Uh, thanks for watching guys uh, 
see you later. See you in the next one. This has been Movies and Beyond. This has been Fuck It Friday. Kyle's clearly very tired. I so, am a bit tired. So, yeah. Sorry, I've just, just been installing Windows. Yeah, it's fucking hell times. still. No, I've done it, but it's, it you know it took a couple of tries. Yeah, well, Kyle's going to go sit on some lollipop sticks. So, see you later. <laughs>